It's been a while since we got out together, calling Lance and me. But uh, today's going to be a little test and adjust and see what happens. Sounds cleaner. Hey, welcome back. So it's been a minute since I put up a video about me, Colin, and Lance out for a ride, and we've been all pretty busy. It's just how the summer goes. Anyway, we've been off the bikes, we've been working, we've been doing other things, but now it's time to get out for a ride, and uh, this is it. We're on some familiar ground, heading out for a little rip, but we're gonna make it in a fairly long rip. And what I was also talking about in terms of the bike running cleaner is I've done the top end on the bike here at 150 hours. All was good when I looked at it, and uh, when I put it all back together, it was okay, but it just wasn't running right. And what it turned out to be was the crank case pressure sensor had fouled, and probably maybe some assembly lube or some dirt that I had dislodged in rebuilding the bike had come up into the crank case pressure sensor. It's a mouthful, and uh, it just wasn't running right. Now, it's gonna be running right. If it goes sour and we're like 20 minutes in and we're still close to the house, we just go back and crush a beer and go. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes a fucking nice, fast, cold beer <coughs> work wonders. Is this the new trail? This is that shitty, well, the rough shitty section of new stuff, yeah. <laughs> All right, discussing the relative merit of riding versus going back and crushing some beers. Uh, it turns out riding is gonna be the better option. Lance is nursing a bit of a hangover from the day before or the night before and uh, both Colin and I are just, we've been off the bikes for a while so we're kind of just dragging ass a little bit. That's okay, we're going to get warmed up once we get through the forearm pump and uh, it's going to be a really good day. We've ground our way through the new section, which is uh, pretty tough on the forearms for a warm-up, and moving over to this faster, flowier stuff, uh, at least for a little bit, and I am loving the bike and how it's running. Ah. Yeah, it is. Bike is running really well. Um, just been doing a little bit of fine tuning with the air screw, which is how KTM manages idle speed. Uh, it's not the best way, but it is how they're doing it so they can be European compliant with emissions. But that's okay. It seems to be okay, and uh, maybe a little more dialing to do yet, but it's running really well. Oh, yeah, she's back. She feels good. So we skipped a bunch of stuff over on Lance's trail. We're now over on McLeod Hill, and this trail is uh, dubbed YZ Kid Hill. Uh, there's a young fellow that runs a YZ in here at uh, pretty fast speeds, and this is some of the trail that he's built, and we've added onto and connected to the Cloudy Road stuff that we like to ride. Yeah. And as always, there's a little bit of trail clearing that's needed to be done after any wind storms or periodically through the season. And uh, yeah, it's not that bad. 
This is a little minor stuff. I don't even need to bring out the saws. We got it, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, didn't even need to bring out the Collins either. We, uh, we keep them in reserve, kind of like the trunk monkey. Don't want to launch them on small stuff, just the big stuff. Climb this one yet. The last time that I was here, I was just sort of way too tired by the time we got back here to mess around on hills. You know, when you get tired, you start getting to that point where you suck. <laughs> I was into that point where I sucked. Oh, this was not a clean one. Well, whatever I was saying about hills, it just kind of sounded like Charlie Brown's teacher. Oh, wah, 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 wah. You know, if you want to get better at something, just throw yourself into harm's way and get at it. So, on this ride, I try and hit all the hills and just ride the trails that we're going to ride. And, uh, yeah, it proves that some of it is just mind games that I'm playing with myself. And some of it is, yep, need to build some more skills. holes. All right, attempt number two, and it goes off without any problems. Lance took the bikes, both all, both mine and Colin's, up this hill, and it was interesting to listen to how more aggressive he is with the throttle, so that's something I need to hoist aboard. Yeah, forest will nots. They just will not come off. come down the road a little bit off McLeod Hill and are now crossing over to Kaladi and we're not going to hit the normal stuff, we will eventually, but we do a little bit of exploring which turns out really good and it's a lot of the stuff that Colin likes that he's super fast on and we really need to come over and kind of clean up a little bit of it because there's some fun stuff. <laughs> So this little section here is one of the ones I was talking about that would be fun to clean up and run up this little bit of gully or ditch here. there is so much good stuff over here some of its legacy stuff that's starting to grow over a little bit which is kind of how these things go when a trail gets opened up by somebody and then kind of gets abandoned because they move away or get out of the sport mountain bikers have used some of this stuff but they've seemed to have given up on a lot of it so yeah, I think we'll have to come over here in the fall and kind of open it up a bit Should have turned around, went right back down the hill and tried again. However, the way my brain works is I try something and I catalog everything that I learned from that attempt if I didn't get it or even if I did and then I go and I chew on it and get very analytical and figure it out and then the next time I just come and ride it. It's just the way my brain works. Oh. Yeah. 
course, the GoPro always there. flattens out the hills. This is a pretty steep hill. You might get a sense of that from how right. tall Colin is on the left side of his bike. And this rock is kind of a savior that you don't get kicked off the trail and fall down the hill, but it's also in the way. Say something nice for the camera, Colin, about this good idea that you just had. <laughs> I forgot about the rock. <laughs> Make my way downhill. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, lose a gear? I don't know, just fucking... <laughs> yeah, we all have our moments and uh, this is halfway through the ride. We're turning around and heading back. It's going to take us an hour to get there. I'm going to condense that down into about nine minutes. So uh, hang out and see it if you like. Back across the river and over to McLeod Hill and Colin gets a little hard on the throttle here and almost loses it. We're back over to McLeod Hill and this little section of trail is something that I think John built and it's a nice climb up the side of the hill it's a long steady climb, it's low me, it's got some tight woods, and it's good fun. pass on Colin. I don't know what happened there. I, I don't know if it's just that he spun out because he's got a pretty worn out rear tire or hit something. Good. Gotcha. They call in. Yeah. He's tired out. He's fucking <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. So a while ago I got joking about struggle bunny racing and right now I'm drawing a little struggle bunny on the front of Colin's bike, but I was thinking about getting a stuffed animal that I can pull out of the pack and give to whoever's struggling or give to myself just as a comfort animal to get us through the day. And I think that's something that I'm going to turn into reality. I just got to find the right struggle bunny on eBay and I'll, or Amazon and I'll buy it, carry it around and hopefully everyone gets a good laugh out of it because it's just in fun. And maybe even turn that into a banner and uh, you show up at a race as struggle bunny racing. <laughs> Well, speaking of struggle bunny, here comes my moment. Sorry bike, that was my fault. <laughs> it's pretty greasy at the bottom here. Yeah, I'm not sure the bike cared that much, but uh, I think Colin, what he did, he's got to the bottom of the hill there and jammed on his rear brake and took off all the nice grippy topsoils. He left a trap for me. And that's how I see it and that's how I'm calling it. Oh, 
seriously dragging ass now. <laughs> you get? <sighs> I need the the bunny. <laughs> the last push, man. Yeah, man. Ooh. Yeah, it's been a really great ride. We've been out for well over three hours. The thing that took the most energy out of us, I think, though, was cutting a rather large hemlock that was across the trail with a silky handsaw. And uh, that really, that took some time and that took some energy. This next little climb is getting pretty chewed out and it's getting tricky. So I think the approach is going to have to be more speed in the future. Oh, shit. Just burning up the last of my energy here and I can hear Lance's bike behind me just pushing me a little bit and this is not my best place here or pace. These whooped out areas get me every time. Well, bike was working good. This was Saturday and we also get out on Sunday. We go down and visit Chris. Chris takes us out on some of his trails, which were amazing. We have a really good time down there. It's a good area to ride, a lot of fun. Yeah. 